Help! My competitor bought my business name on Google Ads. Hi, my name is Leo and I'm uh, the owner of Digital Track, a digital marketing agency located in Solano County, helping those small businesses to increase their online exposure and, of course, attract more customers in your local market. <clears throat> I also bring you information like this that could be useful to you to improve your digital marketing um, strategies. So let's go ahead and get started here with this. Um, if you have issues with your competitors cashing in on your good name with uh, conquesting campaigns, then perhaps this uh, art video or article will help you find out how to protect your business with paid search, right? So the term conquesting, if you never heard of it, is has a quiet and aggressive connotations like, for example, you could take it as invading or taking over. And in the world of uh, paid search, right, like Google Ads, that's exactly what it means, right? Taking over or invading your good name or the good name of your business. So conquesting is the act of bidding on another company branded keywords. For example, if you search for Pepsi and see a paid ad of Coke, that means that Coke conquested Pepsi brand name. Uh, here I got another example here on this image right here. So, for example, you know, if you do a search for Geico, the insurance, the car insurance company, <coughs> you you come across an ad like this. <coughs> Apologies. Um, you come across an ad like this. Right, uh, don't trust a gecko, paper mile car insurance, metromile.com. So that's clearly right, a different company, metromile.com, but it's in some way <laughs> aiming at, ge uh, at Geico, right? So obviously they're not, they're bidding on, on Geico directly because when this keyword uh, uh, it's used on Google search, this ad comes up. However, they're not mentioning their name, right? They're mentioning Don't Trust a Gecko, which Gecko is the mascot of Geico, right? So that clearly is a, a name on that company directly, right? Um, so that's another example right here of what I conquested at, right? Metro Ma conquested Gecko by beating on their own keyword brand name. So obviously, right, with the example that we provided here about Pepsi and Coca-Cola, that obviously they are the giants of soft drink and they can certainly fend them or, or, you know, fend for themselves. They don't need any help with that. I'm sure they don't have any issues with that. They have plenty of lawyers too to protect themselves. Um, but if your small business name was the target of a conquesting on Google, it could be costly to you and your business. Now imagine that every time one of your customers searches for your business and all they see is an ad of your competitor, your competitor would then will be cashing in on your good name. Because what about if your competitor sells very similar products to yours um, and this is a customer that is not loyal customer, right? They, they try your products or services um, and they, they they like it, right? And so next time when they find, when they do a search for your name, your competitor comes up providing a better deal, then obviously they'll be taking, they'll be taking those customers. Now you may tell yourself, yeah, there might be, there might be customers that I don't want them anyways, but um, you know, how far can you go? How, how uh, don't, don't let uh, this take over all of your customers because in essence that could happen. Uh, not your, not your, the customers that you don't want, but good customers as well. As well, that could be um, uh, going to your competitors if you do not pay any attention at all, or just totally ignore it. So don't ignore it. If your small business has been subject to conquesting, there are a few simple strategies that may alleviate the problem. So let's go over those problems. I think I listed about five. Uh, uh, no, not problem, but let's go over about this. Uh, simple strategy that can help solve the issue. And I think I listed about five, so let's see. Um, number one is reach out to your competitor and ask them to stop. Now, obviously, now this may seem obvious, right? But in reality, often companies will bid on your brand terms on Google Ads because they assume that you will do the same. And bidding on your terms is their only way 
for them to keep ahead, right? In their mind, that's all they think that, that they'd be able to do in order for them to stay ahead. Sometimes through communications with the other party, mutually beneficial terms can be reached where both parties agree not to bid on each other's brand keywords. Because the reality is that bidding on each other's brand term is very costly and generally not very effective, right? Not cost effective at all. So it benefits both of you to agree to a truce. Like you say, hey, you know, let's not do this, right? I agree not to ever bid on your terms or keywords for your name, for your business name or company name. And if you agree to the same, right? Because in many ways it could be costly. And in some other examples, I'm going to show you why that could be costly. But let's go over number two now. Number two. Uh, strategy you can use to avoid those issues is include your brand terms in your ad copy along with any registered trademark symbols that you may have um, for any of your products, services, or business name. Sometimes it may be against compliance regulation for competitors to use brand terms in their ad copy. So make sure you take advantage of this by putting your brand everywhere you can in your ad copy along with uh, the registered trademark symbol which really stands out and I include an image here of a Example, right? So I did a search for coca-cola and of, of obviously coca-cola has uh, so many uh, trademark and copyright um, uh, In the name that you it's it's um, I just want to show you to the point, right, that it stands out having this little trademark and, and copyright symbol um, in the search. So that's what they are indicating there on the, that's what I'm indicating there on the, on, on the article, right, that adding those symbols as well, if you have them, it will stand out uh, in the search. So, um, That's just an example. Let's go to number three now. Protect your business name with your own paid search campaign. So you certainly heard that offense is be the best defense. In this case, that means that don't wait for your competitors to strike first, right? Take the, the first step to actually go ahead and take action. Prevent conquesting with your own paid search campaign for your business name by actually go ahead and doing it yourself with your own uh, uh, name. Uh, or business name, as you said. That way, when a customer searches for you, you'll guarantee that you that they see your ad first, right? Your competitors may still try to to do a conquesting campaign, but if your ad is there first, you will make it more expensive and less effective for them to benefit from your business name. And the reason why is because, you know, like I like uh, an example that I provided for. Um, I think I, should, I saw an example recently for Vistaprint. Uh, and then I come up, but, but imagine, right? So, so somebody is looking for your business name. Let's say, um, uh, dentist Fairfield is the business name you have, right? Dental, dental Fairfield. Let's say that's the business name you have, right? Um, <clears throat> dentist Fairfield, uh, is what I'm looking for. So if I know that there's a a, 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 a dentist over here called Dental Fairfield, that's what I'm looking for. And some other competitors are uh, bidding on your name. Obviously, it, it it may be a little more expensive. It, it will be expensive for them to continue doing this strategy because, in my mind, as a consumer, what I'm looking for is this specific. Um, business that I know of, Dental Fairfield. And so if you try to do something like uh, Dental Fairfield and I click on your ad and I realize that it's not the office I'm looking for, Google will take notice of that. Google will take notice that you're giving a, a bad experience to me, the person that is doing the search, right? The user, uh, because when I go to that ad and I see in, and I go to that website and I see it's not the, the, business I'm trying I'm looking for I'm gonna leave right away right and I'm and, and I'm gonna go back and do my search and actually uh, find the location I'm looking for and so obviously again Google will take notice of that to Google will um, start taking notice that many of uh, 
users are doing the same. They, you know, your, your ad is coming up and, um, uh, and people are immediately living when they click on you. Uh, so what's going to happen is eventually Google is going to start increasing uh, any time that, so if you click on Google, when somebody does a search and you have an ad here, you don't get paid for your ad to show up here. You only get paid for your ad when somebody actually clicks on it. Like if I were to go and actually go into this ad, uh, that's when this company will pay or business, right? Um, and so it may start at, uh, let's say in the beginning, perhaps you were paying $2. Well, if you if you um, bidding on your competitors and you, and, and Google start noticing that you are giving a bad experience to the user, that $2 may turn into five per click, or five dollars may turn into 10 per click. And eventually they might not even show it, or even worse, they might even close, shut down your, your ad account. So um, in, in short, right, just to summarize everything, just to summarize everything, when your ad ranks on top of Google, your competitors won't stand a chance. So I hope that this information was helpful to you. Um, when I want to ask you now, if you want to keep, uh, if you want to learn, uh, continue to receive more information, if you want to, if you're looking for more for similar information to like the one I show you today, um, you want to, uh, you want me to keep you notified when um, new training comes out like this. If you're watching this on YouTube, please go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell. Um, symbol so you can get notifications or you can come to my website right digitaltrack.co you can uh, text me or send me an email and say hey Lee, I would like to receive some more training um, some more of your emails whenever you release training like this uh, I'll be happy to add you to my email to my um, uh, email campaigns to send you notifications when um, new uh, new new when I release new trainings like this ones also, you can follow me on social media. If you go to my website and go to the bottom, you will see my uh, different social media channels, a link to my different social media channels. <clears throat> if you have questions or anything like that, uh, those are perfect places to find me as well as my cell phone number, my email address. Um, all right, so uh, again, um, I hope this information help you. Help you if you, a question I, I will end this with in this video is if you have suffered con Questing in the past, right? Meaning, uh, your competitor put uh, was um, was bidding on keywords related to your business name on Google Ads or similar platforms. Tell us your experience. How 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 was that like? And what do you do to overcome it? Or if eventually your competitor just stopped at, at some point because probably they didn't find any any benefit on it. So let us know, right? Sh share with the community. This is. We put in this video over. Here. I'm putting this video over here, right for you, uh, the business owners that are looking to learn about this stuff, right? So comment, you know, help the community. You help each other, right? It, it also increases the chances of you uh, getting awareness for your own business because obviously you're providing value, just like uh, this video over here may provide value to you. So let us know. All right, have a good one. Bye.